In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an SQL login. An SQL login provides the ability to connect to an SQL instance, and this will allow a connection from a non-domain user. So let's take a look at the steps. First thing we're going to do is make sure we've got Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio open, and I'm going to connect using the Windows Authentication. I'm then going to come to security, logins, and I want to create a new login. So we've got the option here of Windows or SQL authentication. I'm going to choose SQL and I'm just going to create a login name. We'll call it user A. I'm going to use a Create a password. And I can leave the enforced policy off, but just for this demo, I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to actually give it a server role. Now, normally you wouldn't create it as a sysadmin, but purely for this example, I'm going to put it in. You would normally set your security down to the role that you want this to have with your database. I'm going to hit okay now as a default an sql instance is set up for windows authentication only so we need to change that so i'm going to come to the top of our explorer i'm going to right click and go to properties i'm then going to come down to security and I've got my server authentication. Now at the moment it's marked as just Windows authentication mode. I want to change that to SQL Server and Windows authentication. Now when I hit OK, it's going to give me a message saying that some of our configuration changes will not take effect until SQL is restarted. The quickest way to do this is just come to the top of the Object Explorer and we can actually restart the SQL Server from here. So we've got our message. Do you want to restart this in this instance on SCADRO 2? Yes. And we can see it's gone green again. So we'll try and connect the database engine. But this time I'm going to use SQL authentication using our new credentials and we can see we've got a connection now using a discrete SQL login. Thanks for watching.